Hey guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm out to attempt the one stick fire challenge. Um, at the end of his last video, my buddy Grazy over at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival uh, kind of called me out to attempt this challenge, so uh, today I'm going to give it a go. Um, the rules are quite simple. I'm allowed uh, one stick to make a fire, uh, boil up some water and make a brew. Um, because this isn't like a survival challenge, um, you know, it's a bushcraft challenge and it's a bit of fun, the, uh, the processing tools and the ignition method um, weren't particularly specified. So uh, I've got with me my knife, I've got my folding saw, and I'm gonna use a fire steel to try and get the fire going. Uh, I could just use a lighter, but I feel like that would be cheating a little bit too much. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I hope you enjoy it. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've got my stick. Now I know, I know, I know it's a big stick, but I watched Mike from TA Outdoors do this and he had a big stick. So if he can have a big stick, then I can have a big stick. <laughs> um, so from this stick, I need to get uh, some tinder, I need to get some kindling and I need to get some fuel. I also need to make a pot hanger out of it. Now I may have shot myself in the foot a little bit because my stick is not straight, which would have made the pot hanger thing easier. but. We shall persevere and hopefully still manage to um, achieve the challenge. So my plan is to use the bottom bit here, the thicker bits, as the fuel. Uh, I'm planning to use this section here as kind of a pot hanger, because there's a nice bit here to hang my billy can from. The bend here may not be helpful, but we'll just have to see how we get on. Uh, and the rest of the wood up here I can use for uh, tinder kindling and, and, and fuel as well. So that's the plan. So the next thing to do is uh, get out the folding saw and just process it up into more manageable chunks. One thing I have noticed is that loads of the bark here on this tree is kind of coming off and rotten. Now I don't know if this will be useful in my fire starting thing, but I thought if I can get bits of it off and save them, I might be able to crumble them up and add them um, as kind of a sort of tinder. I don't know if this particular bark will be any good but if I can get some nice chunks off, then um, we'll save it because it still counts as part of my stick. We will save it and uh, yeah, see if it see if it does anything. Alright, so I'll process the stick down into a few more manageable chunks. Um, this was going to be my pot hanger. Well, maybe it would still work. I haven't, I haven't quite decided. I've kept this bit a bit. Uh, bleh, I've kept this bit of wood a bit longer, just to see if maybe that would make a better pot hanger. I'm not entirely certain it would now, you know. Let's get the pot actually and have a look at which one might be better. So for this I'm using my 500ml TBS um, billy can. So, so if that's, which way does that want to sit? Kind of wants to sit, how do you want to sit? Kind of that way, so that would be there, which wouldn't be terrible. But then if I use this one, hmm. One does make it a little bit more awkward, but it is still it's still doable. That would mean the fire is quite small, <coughs> as opposed to this one. Which would give me a bit more room. Okay. So I think we'll plan actually to use this now as my pot hanger. So um, the next thing I want to do, or the next thing I'm going to do, 
is point the end of this stick just with my knife um, to me uh, to be able to drive it into the ground so it's nice and secure. I'm not going to bother making like a, a pot hook and then have that attached to this stick, uh, namely because I don't think I need to. I think because of the uh, the way this stick is, I think it would be okay if I just point the end of it and jam it into the ground. Now, all of the shavings that I'm going to take off, I'm going to keep because I think they should be quite useful in terms of getting the fire going as a as a tinder source. So I'm going to try and keep the try and keep the cuts quite fine. Uh, and as I say, keep hold of the shavings. I may put them in my pocket to make sure they don't um, dry out too much while we get the rest of it going. You know what? I think it might be better if I do this closer to the ground. That way I've got a better chance of <laughs> saving the shavings. Let's pick these up before I uh, lose them. Oh, no. <sighs> There's a lesson. It's what you get for putting too much power in your cuts. You spill all of your shavings. By the way, do you think having my sit pad here counts as cheating? I don't think so, because you could use anything to catch them, like a t-shirt or a shoe. Go away. Just now popping all of the little shavings that I've just made, just collecting them up <clears throat> and popping them in my pocket to keep them dry. And maybe they'll fluff up a bit as well. Getting them out of my pocket will be interesting. Let's hope I don't lose loads of them in the process. It undoubtedly means that loads of these shavings are going to end up in my washing machine. But So, pointed the end of my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, pot hanger, <clears throat> so that will just go in the ground. Uh, the next thing to do is um, process up some of these um, longer bits, uh, thicker bits like this. What I'm going to do is split some of them down, um, if I can, um, to create some kind of kindling and maybe even try and do some sort of, get some more shavings, do some, a tiny bit of feather sticking perhaps, uh, to help get the fire going initially. Um, and because I only need to boil a small amount of water, I don't want to keep big pieces like this and put them on like that because they'll take, you know, they could take ages to take uh, in terms of actually setting on fire. Um, and I don't want to risk um, the fire going out. So I think I will try, if I can, and split all of them down. I'll keep this one to start with because this looks like a decent sized baton to use. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. So let's do that. So I've split down, as you can see, I've split down quite a lot of it. I still have four bigger pieces here that I haven't split down as yet. Um, namely because A, I don't know if I need them, but B, also I want to, I need kind of um, a base for the fire to sit on. So what I think I might do is split one of these bigger ones here, uh, split one of these down to form a, a flat lay, if you like. Uh, and all I'm doing at the moment is sorting out my... Um, split bits down into kind of the order that I'm going to put them on the fire. So the thinner, smaller ones um, I want on first. So hopefully they will take the fire more easily. And then we kind of work our way up through the gears, if you like, to then some of the bigger pieces 
um, later on if we need them bits like you know chunks like this and potentially even bits like this if we uh, if we need them water is in the pot don't need very much okay think I'm all set up and ready to give this a go I hope my fire seal sparks I'm not getting very good sparks with my knife I didn't bring a striker with me let's see if I can try the saw okay yeah that's a bit better oh come on please work Instantly messed it up. <laughs> I'm losing loads of shavings. Struggling. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh, oh. Are we going? Are we going? Oh, quick, 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 quick. Don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh. Use your brace, Alex. Use your brace. Try not to smother it. A little bit more air in. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't go out. Please don't go out. Yes. Come on. Get the water on. Hopefully, hopefully, so build up and we'll be on the way. I think we're well on the way now. Blimey. Oh, where's my mug? Get in! Boiling! Right, let's take this off. Set it down just there. Time for a drink. Oh, that's got some dust in it. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of forest to add flavour to your brew. Do. 
Oh, hot. So, there we have it, folks. Challenge completed. Cheers. Oh, I have to say I enjoyed that. That was really good fun. So thank you very much, Gracie, over at uh, Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. Appreciate the nomination and challenge, mate. Um, thank you very much. So I suppose it's only fitting that I uh, issue my own challenge to you, mate. So uh, this was the one stick fire. So I reckon my challenge to you is the one handed fire. Um, sorry, from start to finish, you can only use one hand. It will be nice to say you can use your dominant hand, um, but you can't use a lighter because that would be cheating. So you can't use anything that gives you a flame. You've got to use, uh, I don't know, got to use like a, a fire steel or something like that. So, uh, so that's my challenge back to you, mate. Um, I will undertake the same challenge. I'm not going to issue it without uh, having a go at it myself. I think that would be a little bit cowardly. So next time I'm out, I'll have a go at that. Um, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Really hope you uh, really hope you enjoyed it. As I said, I had a lot of fun, um, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, so make sure you go and check out Grazy at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. He's doing some really good stuff, uh, and put some pressure on him to uh, to get his one-handed challenge done. Um, and I shall see you very soon. As always, you know, please make sure you know if you're new here and you enjoyed it, you know, hit that subscribe button if you want to, uh, and hit the bell to stay notified of when I put a new video out. Uh, and I will see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Take care. Cheers. Oh, that's nice.